Welcome back, it's me Lou, and today I am bringing you this. The Avengers Mech Strike Iron Man Ultimate Mech Suit. Now this is going to be a fun little unboxing and toy review of this new toy. And as we've talked about before, I believe um, this whole Avengers Mech Strike toy line is kind of loosely based off uh, the comic book miniseries that's currently going on. And it just dawned on me also that mixing Avengers and robots and mechs and armored suits is something they've been doing for maybe the past year. Um, and it kind of started, I think, with the Legos. I've seen there's some there's been a couple of uh, Lego sets where I think there's a Captain America, an Iron Man, I think a Thor, and Venom and Spider Man. This, this might actually be going back maybe two years. So the past maybe two years, Lego's been releasing a bunch of sets where you get the standard you know superhero but they also come with a little mech to accompany them but as i mentioned earlier you know this whole mech strike deal is kind of loosely based off the new comic book miniseries that's going on right now and for iron man it makes complete sense that he has a mech suit um i'm kind of surprised that they don't refer to this as the hulk buster because generally when you think of iron man and when he's already suited up and then he dons on another armor you know, that's normally known as the Hulk Buster, the armor he kind of developed to take on the Hulk. But I saw this toy today and uh, I've been wanting this. If you go back a couple of videos, I reviewed the Mech Stripe Captain America armor and I had a lot of fun with that. Now, these are clearly toys that are aimed at kids, you know, with the up here, four and above. They're not aimed towards the serious collector, but. I love these things. I, I think I get more excited when I see the toy stuff than the more, you know, premium stuff like the Marvel Legends. I think it's mostly because, I don't know, this probably appeals more to my <laughs> childlike sensibilities than me being a collector. And I think, you know, stuff like this, there's collectors that are going to buy this, but I, I think it's kind of a, um, you know, when, when most collectors, you know, the serious collectors see these open air kind of boxes where there's no window and these figures are kind of out in the open like that you know that that clearly says you know this is more of a, a kitty product but for someone like me i i just adore the toy you know the stuff that's that's you know the stuff they can actually play with and it's it's fun and uh that's what that's what i see when i look at this so let's examine the, the package um just like the captain america one i love the artwork I love the illustration here of the mech suit, the logo. I love that the logo is really striking, you know, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, the colors are great. This really stands out on the shelf. On the back of the box, we have Iron Man Ultimate Mech Suit. And it says here, Iron Man gears up in a massive high-powered mech strike suit to combat the evil Thanos. So yeah, this this looks like to be a fun toy. Um, you know, the product kind of shows you can put your Iron Man figure inside, and then you have the giant mech suit. So let's crack this guy open. Now, um, I still haven't I haven't purchased the standalone Mech Strike armor figure by itself, the Iron Man. I bought the cap, and there's a there's a Black Panther, there's a Hulk, but I haven't bought the Iron Man yet. I bought the cap because I like the cap figure a lot. It looked, it looked really cool. I really want the Thanos um, armor set like that's like this, but I think it's a little bit bigger and it costs a little bit more. And it's actually, I think, in a windowed box, something like this, which is opened aired. Alright, we got Iron Man out. Let's move him out of the way for now. And let's get the armor out.
think there's one more to get out. All right, we got the armor out. And uh, just like the Captain America one, at the bottom of the box, we have the feet. All right, there. <laughs> I should have done this earlier. They're not making this easy. Um, this doesn't help that I'm like using the dullest pair of scissors in the world. Okay, we got his feet out. All right, so let's, I apologize, I don't have the most professional looking <laughs> YouTube videos. Mine are very ghetto and homemade. Um, okay, I'm not sure which foot's which. And, all right, so we have Iron Man and the armor. Let's snap on the feet first. All right, I'm unsure of which foot goes with which. Front and back. All right, I'm like nervous here because I don't know which foot goes on which, which, uh, I want to say, I think, because this foot goes on, the Captain America was a lot easier to tell which foot went on, you know, which leg because the screws are on the inside. The screws are on the bottom of these feet. And if I had to guess, maybe I have it backwards, maybe this foot's. Okay. All right, I hope it's the right foot. Um, that one kind of, it didn't give me that satisfying click that like the Captain America one did. All right, that one did. All right, there we go. All right, it looks like I have the, the correct feet on. Now, the way I, I kind of figured it out was I have the Captain America one here. And then it looked like the foot with the, the initial CE went on this side. And then the copyright year stuff went on this foot that was according to the captain america one and it looked like it that 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 logic kind of played out and it worked for this all right so that took longer than it should have but here we go we have Ant iron man by himself here and we have his ultimate mech suit and let's take a look at iron man first now just like the cap it's you know when you feel it it feels more like a kid's toy which for me, it's not a bad thing. It feels a little bit, it feels durable. You know, a kid could like chuck this off the roof and it'll survive. They give you plenty of articulation for a toy like this. Um, there's articulation at the shoulders. There's a swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow. The head, ball joint. There's no waist movement. Uh, you can swivel at the knee. There's nothing at the ankles. Overall, it's a nice, clean-looking figure. I want to say, I think, I really wish I bought it, but I think um, I prefer the standalone figure in the Mech Strike series. 
that Iron Man just appeals to me a little bit more. But that's not to take anything away from this. This, this figure here looks great. Uh, the detail is nice and crisp. I like the sculpting on it. You know, immediately off the bat, you know this is Iron Man. The color scheme is perfect. He has the one hand out, so he can like shoot his beams. So yeah, this is cool. And actually, let's compare him um, with Captain America. Now this is the standalone Mech Strike Captain America, and as you can see, they're pretty much the same height, same you know, very similar build. And I think it'd be great, you know, if this line. I'm not sure if now these these kitty lines they might be one off one off lines. I'm not sure if this is gonna be something that they're gonna carry on for another like another wave or whatever. But it'd be fun to have other characters in this mech suit line or mech strike line. Um, you know, getting like maybe like Vision or like Hawkeye or Widow. But you know, you're getting Iron Man and you're getting Cap. You know, they're the two flagship leaders of the Avengers and. They're cool figures. Now it's unfortunate that you know Iron Man. He's not like Cap because Cap, if, even the the mech suit one came with a shield. You know, there's no real accessory that comes with Iron Man. I think it'd been cool if you know if this helmet could like flip up and you could see Tony underneath. But it is what it is. And let's take a look at the armor suit. So this is the ultimate mech suit. And it looks loosely based off of some of the previous Hulkbuster outfits. And it's very blocky. And this is one of those toys that if you handled it, even if you just saw it, you know immediately this is a this is a kid's toy. It's not aimed at, at the series collector, but don't let that, you know, take away from the fact that it's a fun, you know, it's a fun toy to begin with. Now, just like the Captain America one I reviewed, this one flips open. The plastic, it's very, it's very durable. Um, it's very kid-friendly plastic. You still have the same articulation with the shoulders, the arm. This one, the hand rotates. Now, same with the fist here. It kind of bothers me that the, he, on one arm here, he has an energy blade. Now, we saw that with the Captain America. The cap had like a like a blaster but this one has like an energy blade it's okay but i think when you look on the, look at the figure head on it just looks kind of weak because it's just like this thin piece of plastic but when you look on the side it eh, it's all right and then there's these small ports on the side of um the shoulder and the forearm and uh, i think they can hold some accessories like here's cap shield so you, you know if if you had more accessories from other figures, you could probably plug them in. And let's just take a look at the detail real for, real quick. So on the top here, you have these missile pods. The, de the sculpting, it, it's kind of a mixed bag. Like You get some really nice crisp details on the arms and the, the torso. But in these missile pods, it almost looks kind of like an afterthought. I like the, the, let me pull out the cap. All right, so here's the Captain America one. The, the sculpting on the cap, I think, is a lot better. It's a lot crisper. Uh, the, the design's a little bit, looks a little bit more thought out. That's not, it's not to take anything away from this. This looks great. It looks like what it should look like. But I think what hurts this also is this, you know, it's just so predominantly red, which that's what the Hulkbusters costumes are. So, you know, it's predominantly red and gold. But here it's nice, colors are broken up, there's some diversity in this different armored sections, so it looks cool. This almost looks like one of those play school kind of like Iron Man toys. If you've seen those, the ones that are aimed at like the little kids and you know they're, they're about the same height. And let's take a look at the back detail. Wow, there's a lot of screws. Okay. This would be a fun toy if you're a customizer to just embellish it and add more paint to it. You know, like maybe paint some of these vents, like silver. Maybe give it an ink wash or bring out the panel lines. So this is cool. I like this a lot. I think off, right off the bat, I think I, my first impressions of the cat mech suit kind of like 
um, was really awesome. This one's cool too, but it doesn't grab me as much as the cap one did. Now you can open up the inside and then you could drop Iron Man in. There's a hole in his back and it plugs into the port right there or the peg. And it's just like the Captain America, the armor closes and then you have Tony in his second mech suit. Now the thing that kind of like throws me off with this and the Captain America one is it's too bad you can't enclose the figure completely. Um, this is only big enough that you can fit the, the legs and the bo body of the character, but his arms still kind of stick out. Which isn't a bad thing, because in some ways you can almost pretend this is like, you know, mimicking what this guy's doing on the inside. Like if he moves his arm out, this robot moves his arm out. And it's also kind of cool that the hand gestures are the same. I hope this red, um, like this figure is very red, so I'm not sure if on the video if it's coming off a little bit too oversaturated and you're kind of losing some of the detail here. But there is there is some sculpting and some nice detail here. It's really crisp. And, you know, you can kind of tell it's a budget figure too because the front of the arm, biceps, painted gold, whereas if you look on the inside, it's not. But if you're a kid, you're not going to care. Yeah, so this is, I don't know, this is... This is slowly winning me over. I mean, I thought it was cool to begin with, but the more I fiddle around with it, I think it's just as cool as the Captain America one. I don't know if there's a Black Panther armor suit. Because I know there's the Hulk figure and the Black Panther standalone figures. Now, if they had their own mech suits, I'd get those too, because that'd be awesome. But here we are with both of them. So it's kind of cool having a set of them. It's really neat. And speaking of Iron Man, now, like, as I do with my other videos, I always like to pull out some other figures just to compare it and just talk a little bit about the, about the characters. And I have a bunch of Iron Man figures with me. I just uh, went into my one of my toy boxes and just grabbed a bunch of them. Uh, so we have this one here. It's a Marvel Legends Iron Man. Uh, we have another... Marvel Legends Iron Man. Now, I can't remember. They've made so many. This one's based off more of the classic design. And I believe this is an older um, sculpt and mold that Hasbro used when they first got the Marvel license. Because as you can see here, the scale is just so much smaller. Um, I just drank some tea. My <laughs> So that's, I don't know, I forget what I'm talking about. All right, so yeah, here's an um, classic styled Marvel Legends Iron Man. And um, we have this Marvel Legends Iron Man. This is a more recent one. Um, I want to say this is from uh, Avengers Infinity War, I think. I might be wrong on that, though. There's there, There's just been so many. And what's kind of surprising is that when I look at these, um, this, you know, the Mech Strike one, it's actually bigger than this old, older version of Marvel Legends. I almost think if you gave this a premium paint job, not that it's on the same level of detail as this one, it wouldn't look bad. But Iron Man, he's a very tried and true character. He's very iconic. Um, you know, his face, his, his armored plating. Let's compare the backs to all of them. Now this guy's, you know, essentially the more high-tech figure. This is the one that collectors, you know, are gonna really aim towards. It gives you everything. It has the ab crunch, you know. But this one also has the repulsor hand kind of sticking out, as is this one. But it really shows you that you know how t how the toy engineering just evolves over a period of time. Like I think, I think the mold for this one, it's probably well over ten years old by now. And uh, you know, this is a more recent figure. So yeah, these are all some of the Iron Mans. Um, and we could compare some different Hulkbuster outfits. 
So this is the mech suit for Mech Strike, and they don't call it Hulkbuster, but you know, when I saw it, the first thing you think of is always Hulkbuster. And then I have this to compare it to. This is the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. I believe this is from the Marvel first 10 years two pack that came with Hulk. I also have the Build a Figure one, which is the identical figure. The only thing different is the, just the paint job. Now, one thing that's always been disappointing with like a good chunk of all these Hulkbuster figures that come out is that you can never actually open one up and put Tony Stark inside of it. And as much as I love this figure, it just, you know, for me, if I was a kid or even just as an adult to have that play feature where you could open up the chest and then there's like a cavity inside and you could drop another figure inside of there, that'd be the, that'd be like the coolest thing, which I think is the fun thing about these mech strike ar armors. It gives you that option if you're a kid to like, you know, reenact a thing where, it's, you know, Tony needs to jump into his power suit so he can like take on like bigger and more dangerous things. And, uh, I also got this. I believe this is from Age of Ultron. Now, this is a weird line of figures for a while. Hasbro, with the movies, they're making a line of um, kid-aimed figures, and they were small, because they were already doing, um, in addition to doing Marvel Legends, they were doing the Marvel Universe series of figures, which were three and three quarters. Which is about the size of a uh, old Star Wars or GI Joe figure, and then um, you know they came out with these, and they were smaller figures. And as you can tell, this is an older figure that was made back in 2015, so it's about six years old, and the glue has already come loose, and the head fell off. So I have to like fix that later. So this is one of the exceptions of the Hulkbuster, where you can actually open it up, and then you can put a an Iron Man figure inside of it. Which was weird though, because this was a two pack that came with Hulk, but it didn't come with an Iron Man, so you had to supply that yourself. So I gotta re glue this head back on, but. And this guy suffers from that thing I talk about, like how some of the rubbery plastics, they start degrading over time. And this guy's six years old, but um, part of his r rubber plastic on his arms, it's like, it's like developing this weird, like, powder on the surface, and it's the figures. And at least these softer rubber parts are getting kind of tacky. And uh, here's another Hulkbuster. This is the Lego one. Uh, this was, I think this came out when they did Avengers Infinity War. And this one does open up. And then you can see Iron Man inside. It's really cool. And Lego, I think at the same time, they even made an expensive... Um, use uh, Ultimate Collector Series Hulkbuster, and the thing is huge. I think it's maybe like 14 inches, 12 or 14. It's over 12 inches. I know that. Um, I have it. I haven't put it together yet. This has been collecting dust for years. But Lego, they love the concept of the Hulkbuster. It seems like they're all they're always releasing some version of the Hulkbuster or the War Machine armor, where you can like you know throw the minifigure inside. And I, I really appreciate that. I wish you would get that more with the you know, standard figures, not just the Lego stuff. And, uh, we have more Hulkbusters. This is the Titan Hero, um, budget Hulkbuster. It's really big. It does, as you can see, it doesn't fit in the frame. It's essentially a giant piece of hollow plastic. You can turn the head. Limited articulation, but if you're a kid, you're not going to care because this is big and it's cool and I think that's something that when I got this guy I think some of his thunder was stolen because before I got this I actually bought this cheaper budget figure first because I couldn't I didn't have the build a figure yet and um, I needed a Hulkbuster to fill out my collection and I remember buying this I'm like I'll just buy this for now it's it's completely out of scale with the six inch figures um, or maybe not maybe this I don't know but I bought this, and even though it was a budget toy, I thought it was the coolest thing because the sculpting's great, and it, you know, it's like I said, I like the stuff that's just more like the toys. And this, I don't know, I fell in love with this, and it was really awesome. And yeah, so I believe this is part of the, the Titan Heroes line of budget figures. Really cool. 
And lastly, I have another Hulkbuster. This is also a budget figure. This is the Titan Hero Hulkbuster. This is the one that uh, Bruce Banner pilots in uh, is it Infinity War, I think. So it's another one, another giant hollow piece of plastic. Very limited articulation, but it, the sculpting is beautiful. Yeah, so I mean, you know, if you're into Hulk busting armor, there's no shortage of that for Iron Man. There's so many toys. And I gotta say, I like this guy a lot. He grew on me. I think I, my first impression of the Cap one it really was, wow, this is great. And this one's this one. It took a while just because I wasn't as keen on the the mech design. But overall, it's awesome. Lots and lots of Iron Man toys if you're a big Iron Man fan. There's never going to be a shortage of that. Well, once again, um, kind of <laughs> this video is drawn out a little bit longer than I wanted to. But I just wanted to share my thoughts with Iron Man and all the different iterations of the Hulkbuster armor. So, thank you again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.